Work hard. Work hard. Work hard. Work hard. Buenos días, Osborne. Aquí estamos en la escuela más chévere donde los leones rugen con respeto y con orgullo. And as always, it is very important to remember to roar through your action. That's right. Let's be respectful. Let's be outstanding. Let's be attentive and safe. And let's be responsible. The last seven days of school. Yes, only seven days remain. We're going to keep pushing forward and keep trying our best every single day. Just a reminder that we still have those roar expectations that we want students to follow. So really what I ask of students more than anything is when you're out there again during lunch, during recess, during PT, PE, any free time, you prioritize safety and kindness. Again, you prioritize safety and kindness. Every Osborne Lion, every student deserves to feel safe here at Osborne. And remember, when you're in need of any support, reach out to an Osborne staff member or use your toolbox tools if you want to try to solve those problems on your own. But we're out there in the soccer field, in the blacktop, again, play the right way, display character through your actions. Today I have two fourth graders. I have Callie and Sebastian that are going to be helping me with the raffles. Take it away, kids. Gracias, señora Ariola. Soy Callie Machado de señora Larson's class. Y yo soy Sebastián González también de señora Larson's class. Ahora es el tiempo para el You Matter raffle. Un recordatorio. La asistencia es importante. Todo el día, todos los días. Callie Machado Cuarto grado. ¡Woo! Anthony Herrera de Rodríguez. Uh, oh, no. Anthony Herrera de Kinder. Ahora, ahora seleccionamos dos nombres del World Raffle. Josué Luis de Pérez de, por ser attentive y re, attentive. Silvio Nieto for being responsible. Fe, Felicidades a los ganadores. Recuerda mostrar carácter. Recuerda rugir a través de tus acciones. Tus acciones... Oh. Tus acciones determinan tu éxito. Back to you, señor Ariola. Thank you both for doing a fantastic job volunteering for the morning opening and helping us with the raffles. Congratulations to the winner. Again, as always, claim your prize here in the office. And reminder, the Roar Store, the last Roar Store of the year. Again, the last Roar Store of the year is... Thursday during lunch. So hopefully you bring your war bucks, spend them wisely. Now we have our counselor, Senora Cortez, with a message that she wanted to send out a shout out regarding career day. Take it away, Senora Cortez. Hi, Osborne Lions. This is Angelica, your school counselor. I just wanted to um, thank all of you for dressing up last Friday as your career choice for college and career day. And I wanted to thank our fourth and fifth graders for participating in the college and career fair. Remember that it's important that you begin to think about what it is that you want to do when you grow up. And um, that's important because um, then you have to plan, how do I, how do I achieve that ultimate goal of um, being a doctor or a teacher or a nurse or um, working in the agricultural field or working in the law enforcement field or the medical field or education field. How do I get there? Um, and that all starts by going to school every day and it starts off by um, studying and getting good grades and asking questions. And if you don't understand something, um, ask your teacher, right? And so uh, remember that we come to school to learn and that um, we are constantly growing. And it's important to, to think about these things, to think about your future. So thank you all who participated and um, hope you have a great day. Bye.
Thank, Thank you, Senora Cortez. I am here joined by two amazing third graders. Here I have Gilbert, Gilbert, and Gilbert. Who is your teacher? Senor Alvarez. And why don't you share with everyone what's your favorite thing about Senor Alvarez? Um, that uh, we read a lot. You read a lot. Great answer. And here I have Ava. Ava, also a third grader. And Ava, what's your? Who's your teacher? Miss Garcia. And what's your favorite thing about your teacher? Where she helps us. Um, get ready for fourth grade she's helping you she's preparing you for fourth grade i love that answer so here they're going to be helping me with a raffle as senora cortez mentioned last friday we had career day for fourth and fifth graders so here we have a prize of a rubik's cube but also gilbert what do they get for free if they get selected free chicken nuggets free chicken nuggets and who does not like chicken nuggets and another prize winner is going to be an awesome Osborne sticker. Where do you think they could put this sticker? Um, in, in their like, car. In their car, yeah. A bumper sticker showing that Osborne pride, orgullo de Osborne. And the last one, we have an ice cream treat that you could claim here in the office during lunch and also chicken nuggets. So let's go ahead and select one fourth grader for the tower. And Gilbert, he's an honest man. And the winner is Reese. Reese. Reese Alvarado. Reese Alvarado, congratulations. You get this Rubik's Cube. And why don't you pick a fifth grader? A fifth grade winner is for also, I said Rubik's Cube. It's actually the Jenga Tower. Sarah. Sarah Pimentel. Sarah Pimentel, again, that is your prize. Now let's stay with fifth grade with a bumper sticker and some chicken nuggets. We have fifth grader Elise, Elise P, Elise P, fifth grader. Get those chicken nuggets. And Gilbert, why don't you go ahead and select bumper sticker winner for fourth grade. And we have Julia, Julia Hansen, Julia Hansen chicken nuggets and a bumper sticker and now ice cream treat who doesn't like ice cream especially on a hot day gilbert fourth grader who, who's the fourth grader with that as a prize I, aiden. aiden aiden ledesma aiden ledesma and fifth grader ava who do we have ice cream treat hector gonzalez Hernandez, claim your prizes here in the office. Thank you for participating and thank you too for your help. Thank you, Senorita Cortez, for that message and students for helping with the raffle, uh, the career day raffle. Again, you can claim your prize here in the office. The walking club is alive and well. We're currently as, at 1,617 miles. That's more than halfway towards our goal to 3,000. Osborne Lions, there is still time to get to 3,000. Join us before school out there in the track. We have music playing. It's just a great, great way to start your day. Next up, I have Kelly and Sebastian again helping with the Pledge of Allegiance. So if you could please help me by removing your hats, standing in respect, and follow their lead. Please rise. Right hand on your heart. Ready, begin. I, I pledge, pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United, United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one, one nation, nation under God, indivisible, in liberty and justice for all. Ahora, tu mano derecha sobre tu corazón. Listos, comiencen. Prometo lealtad a la bandera de los Estados Unidos de América y a la república que representa una nación bajo Dios, indivisible, con libertad y justicia para todos. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you, Sebastian, for helping with today's morning opening. We have a couple of third graders coming up next, ending the uh, morning opening with jokes of the day that they purchased with the Roar coupon, with their Roar bucks at the Roar store. Enjoy them. That concludes our morning opening. Los Leones de Osborne rugen con respeto y con... That's right, y con orgullo. Have a great day, everyone. Hey Joe, what is a witch's favorite school subject? 
I don't know, my man. What is the witch's favorite school chapter? Spelling! <laughs> I got a joke for you. What is fast, loud, and crunchy? I don't know, Joe. What is fast, loud, and crunchy? A potato chip.